Hey there, my name is Provis, and welcome back to more Rebel Ink Escalation Custom Scenarios. Yes, I am back from my vacation, which means we can take a look at some of the scenarios that were released while I was gone. Starting with the oh-so-very-serious and important scenario, The Chicken Governor! I mean, I'm sorry, when I see a title like that, I just, I just have to take a look at it. It's like, what, I can be a chicken? I want to be a chicken. Being a chicken sounds great! By Dusk. What better way to promote poultry and agriculture in a rural region than to become the poultry? Your logic is flawless, sir. That's right. In this scenario, you play as the chicken governor. A literal chicken. And for that, nobody takes you seriously. And it is up to you to prove to them that you are excellent boo, at managing Middle Eastern insurgent crises. Oh, man. All right. Let's see. No coalition soldiers or charity? Oh, that's going to be a bit of a problem. Typo here. That's fine. Not available because no one believes you can deal with that. You have a more hostile population because the locals don't recall electing a chicken to rule over them and they're angry about it. Oh, that's good. Praise promise. Oh, nice. I wasn't even looking for that, but yeah, praise be, my son. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into this. I have a good feeling. This sounds humorous already. I really wish we could have a custom picture here for a chicken. That'd be amazing. Do I change up my advisors? I don't think so. A couple of these got rebalanced very recently in the uh, uh, spring cleanup, a bunch of different bug fixes and rebalances for the game, which I would say overall made it maybe a little bit easier, but for the most part, it's still pretty much as challenging as it used to be. New York City, oh my god, probably hates you. Nobody remembers electing you, and they likely didn't want to elect you. But regardless, there is a surging rebellion that is forming soon, and you need to stop it, dear chicken. Operation Peckish Yonder. Oh my god, amazing. Alright, HQ, where do we want it? It's probably right about over here, I would guess. That seems fine. What kind of modifiers do we have? The locals hate you, and no one takes you seriously. Charity and Coalition is disabled. Alright, that's gonna be interesting. No Coalition soldiers at all, huh? Okay. Uh, advanced Agriculture. You know chickens better than anyone else because you are one. So rural support boosting initiatives are both cheaper and more effective. Well, that could be good to know. Okay, so let's see. For civilian, we have development discussions, hire pigeons to construct jobs. Oh, great. Now it's not just the chickens. Now it's also the pigeons. It's an avian conspiracy. Birds are real, people. My God, chicken services. We work with the locals to figure out what type of eggs and other chicken goods they're looking for. Isn't that a little bit messed up when you think about it, though? It's like those restaurants, right? Those barbecue restaurants where their mascot is a pig serving barbecue ribs. It's like, you're serving up your own kind. Isn't that horrible? Whatever, anyway. We also have get to work. Begin teaching fellow chickens how to construct roads, telecoms, and electricity stations. I kind of got lazy for this part. There are no funny egg puns for this section. I'm sorry. You should be! Absolute disappointment. Bird's eye. Uh, burbs? Gather? <laughs> Intel. Okay, sure, why not? We'll pick that up. Then we'll go for the effective egg procurement. Then we'll go for the chicken services. I assume this is still gonna be like schools. Uh, teach the populace about the importance of chickens. Absolutely. Okay, we do that. Also, teaching kits so they eat eggs and be healthy. Again, why do we want them to eat our eggs? That's a little bit creepy. All-seeing burbs. Yep, all the regional stuff that we can get. Okay. Well, this all seems reasonable. There's a bunch of different things that got rebalanced somewhat recently. For example, uh, electricity. Uh, as a uh, initiative actually got kind of buffed across the board. That's pretty good. Some governors are a little bit better, like the general or the tank commander. They're a little bit better than they used to be. Also, the like prioritization of initiatives to stabilize zones is a little bit smarter now. So if you have no stable zones and you're losing a bunch of reputation, uh, when you fund a new initiative, it prioritizes in your most stable zone to try and get one finished up sooner. That could be helpful for Mega Brutal, at least a little bit. Uh, let's see, what else do we want to get? Concerns change a little bit as well, but we'll worry about that later. Let's go for the PR and Media Office, let's go for the Outreach Office, and then the Universal Justice. That's usually a pretty good combo to go for. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. concerns, yeah, so I think concerns for things like water, healthcare, and education, uh, now go a little bit faster. All other things like roads, telecoms, electricity, jobs, should build up a little bit slower. So, there's kind of more of an even, like, focus on the early initiatives, and then you prioritize on more important specialties later. I don't know exactly how that's gonna work out, that's just sort of what the patch note said was gonna happen. Do we even see any, um, concerns? Yes, we do have healthcare already. Let's go for chicken nurses? <laughs> chicken nurses help nurture and take care of the sick. Oh, nurse chicken, I seem to have a bizarre rash on my back. I- I diagnose you with- Oh my god. Alright, we have military initiatives. We should probably take a look at that. Uh, we have one option. Diplomacy can't solve this. I mean, I'm a, I'm a chicken for God's sake. How the hell am I supposed to beat the insurgents? By pecking them to death? Extreme measures must be taken. Okay, I like this already. Uh, deploy the emergency egg troopers. 
Train weak egg troopers. I'm guessing these are like national soldiers. We can get a couple of them. Let's do that. Lots of corruption. I need to start burning some of that down. So let's focus on that next. So these are going to train kind of slowly. I see two tanks already. Yep, there's a bunch of tanks. Does this mean we can... Oh, and an urban specialist. Does this mean that I can have a chicken riding in a tank? Because I would really like to see a chicken riding in a tank, guys. That would be really fun for me. Uh, let's go for development discussions and chicken stock development. Pastures and breeding programs for rural zones. These are supposed to be cheaper and more effective. That's why I'm picking that up right now. Because there are actually a lot of rural zones on the opium fields. I think these are all rural. These are all rural. Except for these guys. These are urban. Rural. All this is rural. These are remote. This is rural. Yeah, there's actually more rural zones on this particular map than most others. So, um, yeah, good good, good choice, actually. If you're going to go for a rural-based scenario, you chose the right one. Gosh, rural is such a hard word to say. I don't love it. Uh, so is rural outreach a little bit cheaper? It is maybe a teeny bit cheaper, but not, not very significantly. So I'm going to ignore that for the moment. Uh, what else? Crop development. Even better for rural zones. Yes, it's only four bucks. Frick me. Let's pick that up for absolute sure. What is this, by the way? Ultimate Grand Supreme. Force the planet to realize that you are not McEffin' around. You are a chicken, but not a chicken. Provides additional options. So this is going to be like your foreign relations office then, huh? Yeah, where we teach them that uh, you don't mess around with the chickens. All right. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting garrisons, but they're a little on the expensive side, and if they are already contained to the mountains, I don't care. So let's go over strategic communications and try to build that up. We don't even have our troops yet. They're going to have a camp somewhere up over here. We should probably try to catch it out if we can, if it's right here somewhere. And it was not, which means it's either right here or here. Boo. Okay. Well, let's, um, let's abandon that for now and go and grab the tanks before any insurgents pop up over here. Because if an insurgent takes a tank, like, bad things happen. I was really hoping we would find the camp, but... Oh well. Alas and alack, sometimes you don't get the things that you want. Uh, do we want to continue working on more options for rural zones? Three bucks for that much support level? Heck yes, dude. Ooh, these jobs are really good. These jobs are really, really good. Okay, what else? Um, um, cut crust off your sandwiches. What does that have to do with being a chicken? Unless it's some sort of an egg salad sandwich. Blech. Hate those things. <laughs> Order the Council of Birds to train egg troopers faster no matter the cost. Reduces their strength. Yeah, that makes sense. But faster troops in a pinch could be kind of helpful. I'm trying to think what else we want to get here. I guess we should start working toward things like roads and telecoms. Since I'm not feeling super duper pressed with where these guys are located right now. Like, I'm fine with them being in these mountains. That's great. I just want to kick them out of this area in particular. And then keep them contained along here. And we'll be fine. And if I can work on highways and regular roads, we can easily keep these guys contained. That'll be no problem whatsoever. Let's go ahead and pick up some regular roads to start. Do I deploy a tank? I think I deploy at least one tank to start. Yeah, sure. Why not? You guys get over here and kick these guys back to kingdom come. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm embracing the chicken a little bit too much, but I'm, I'm come on, I'm a freaking chicken! I mean, how fun is that? Um, do I deploy this tank? I feel like too many tanks are usually a problem. I don't have to scrap it, but... I am gonna scrap it for six bucks. One tank should be more than enough. I shouldn't need more than that, right? Unless I let things really get out of control, which might happen, but I'm praying not. We've got our first stabilized zone. That's grand. Truly fan flip fantastical. We probably need to get some more troops set up. My corruption is reducing down enough that I feel like I can do this. 15 buckaroonies? That's a bit expensive. Another 15 for a second one over there. Uh, we should probably consider trying to boost up the training speed for these guys a little bit. Um, let's pick this up, and then we'll go for the cutting the crust off the sandwiches. How fast do they train? Instantly! Well, that's convenient. All right, so with all of this in position, does this mean that I've just completely encircled these guys? Haha, -ha, you can have your stupid camp. I don't care. Get the frick out of here. Get into your mountains. Who let you out of your cage? As a, as a chicken, I have a personal problem with cages. I just want you to know that this is very much a joke. Anyway, <laughs> cage free. Uh, increase pay. I do want to do that for everybody, so let's do that. Why am I getting extra money, by the way? I don't see an oil derrick. What is this? Sell arms? Oh, am I the smuggler? Is this a reskin of the smuggler, basically? Is that what's going on? That might be what's going on. It's hard to say for sure. We're going to run over here real quick and make sure that we fight these guys off. No problem. 
Uh, I would like to go for the highways so we can just move around a little bit faster in this area. I can see that some of the main roads have already been upgraded. This one should be getting an upgrade relatively soon. Upgrade these highways and then we really will be getting around a lot faster. I'm using the tank just to secure the urban specialist who we will deploy right now because this is fortuitous timing. Boom, problem solved. Look at that. See? See? We got this down pat! Um, garrisons actually right now would be really helpful because they're guaranteed to spawn close to where these guys are now, which only makes it easier for me to keep these guys under control. Perfect, dude. Look at this. We got no problems. No problems here whatsoever. This chicken governor is freaking competent as heck, dude. Travel logistics, more combat strength and movement speed. I mean, it's not bad, but is it what I want? I think I want telecoms so we can get a lot more stacking advantages. I mean, at this point, like, the scenario is not... I won't say it's over because, like, knock on wood, you never know. But, um, we're in a pretty darn good position. And as long as we keep them contained here and they already have a camp here and aren't inclined to spawn a second one, then this is about as easy as it gets. I might as well continue stacking up the bonuses with the telecoms and make sure this isn't an issue. Hey, by the way, look out, world. I'm a freaking chicken. I will pressure you to stop interfering with my country. Oh, man. What's this? Give insurgents eggs. Stop fighting. Um, yeah, that's kind of funny. I'm pretty sure, again, that's a smuggler ability to basically just get rid of a few insurgents, but there you go. Let's pop up some local burb recruitment for safety so it's harder for them to take over various different areas. Yes, perfect. We'll pop up over here real quick, fight these guys out of here. No problem whatsoever. Let's have a pomegranate juice factory. I freaking love pomegranate juice. I'm not even kidding. Pomegranate juice is like one of my favorite things to drink, but it's not really good for you. I mean, almost any juice isn't good for you when you really think about it, right? Now, that stuff is loaded with so much concentrated sugar. You're like, oh, but it's fruit. That makes it okay. God, I wish that's the way it worked. But if that were the case, then I wouldn't be getting nearly so many extra calories coming out of Jamba Juice. You know what I mean? I mean, you're meant to eat like an apple, not the juice, the sweet, sweet sugary juice of like 20, right? <laughs> that's how it's supposed to work. The fiber helps to make you full and a little bit of natural sugars. That's a good thing. But juicing a bunch of fruits, man. Uh, it sounds healthy, but it is a trap. It's a trap! All right, do we want to train up more troops? I really don't feel like I need them. Let's go over some eyes in the skies. Go forth, my pigeons! Fly, my pretties! Fly! We found a camp! Blew it up! All right, now the downside of this is I'm pretty confident that the insurgents are going to spawn a new camp pretty soon, which means we're going to have trouble keeping them under control. So let's go ahead and start training up some more troops. These guys, for some reason, are not training up as fast as the other ones. Can't say that I really understand why that's the case, but okay. Uh, good thing I've started the training process on them now while I can then, huh? Anyways, who? So two troops easily can keep these guys contained in their current state. Like, that is no problem whatsoever. The question is, where's the new camp gonna be? Where is it? Keep an eye out. But we have a lot of support all across this zone here. I mean, the rural zones absolutely adore me, which makes sense because I'm a freaking chicken! Go ahead and do a couple per, uh, corruption purges, or at least one. And then maybe the travel logistics. Sure. And then we'll also go for interpreters and guides. And then maybe some heavy munitions. Are we, like, dropping eggs on their heads? Oh, man. That would be pretty funny, right? It's like egging your neighbors. You could say that I'm egging them on. <laughs> no, that's a terrible joke. Uh, we're going to have full reform for women, of course, because uh, chickens are very strong proponents of women's rights. After all, the female is the most important for our economy, so we very much appreciate it. If anything, we should be a matriarchal society. We're not, but we probably should be. Anyway, um, let's get some dirt roads going and uh, what else we wanna do? Super egg research, good for the hostile populations, why not? And you know what, let's go ahead and do some electricity. Let's go ahead and boost that up. Electricity got boosted, it's uh, a little bit cheaper and it should be more effective than it used to be. So that's always gonna be good for me, right? Looking for a camp. I'm not seeing a new camp. Where'd you go, guys? Female pilot makes headlines. Drop an egg on their head. Oh, man. Um, mm, stronger. Yes. And civil integration. Perfect. Um, since two soldiers is more than enough, let's go ahead and start trying to roll out some initiatives in these remote zones and prevent them from becoming issues. Also, let's go for the development bank and the remote subsidies because that will help address the jobs in these remote zones very directly. And remote zones are the only ones left that I have so far not been able to deal with. So we'll go ahead and start rolling that out. Once these two new soldiers come out, this gets a lot easier. Still no sign of another camp. That's a little bit weird to me. I'm not going to lie. 
Um, in my experience, right, from the way I understand the way that the game is usually programmed, um, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna engage critics on this thing. We are, we are serious about this whole women's rights thing. Anyway, if I understand correctly, from the multiplayer and stuff, and I believe the base coding is kind of similar to this still, um, when there is a camp set up, another one, like, starts slowly generating for the AI to place down. If there are no camps and no insurgents on the map, you get, like, a huge boost in your support, but the AI insurgent gets a much faster cooldown on placing down new camps, which is why when you destroy a camp, if there's anywhere for one to place one, it seems like another pops up. What's bizarre is there's no sign of new camp spawning, like they're gone. There's none up here, and there's none spawning in any of my stable areas. What the heck is going on? Yeah, I'm a little confused by that. We finished stabilizing here. Okay, time to go for the kill then, I guess. Um, weirdness. We're not even going to need these new troops. We're just going to freaking win. Go get them. Tanks, prevent these guys from going anywhere to reinforce, and there we go, done. Cover up, never admit that it was our responsibility. Yes, the egg yolks are a dead giveaway, but we do not admit a thing. No, another cover up. Seriously, what did I say about not, not admitting a thing? Uh, stronger combat reinforcements would probably be kind of helpful. Let's go for more rapid airstrikes just to kind of help speed some of this up. Let's go for some more policing, and let's go for dirt roads because that's helpful in the remote regions. There's a camp! All right, one did spawn, finally, but we're already about to take that sucker out. Let's go for some extensive aid in the mudslides because we have great compassion as the uh, chicken leader of this country. Destroying a second camp, and that's all the insurgents. We're gonna cover this up once again. And now we should be getting a passive, massive boost to our uh, support level, which means it's kind of gonna finish on its own really quickly. No chance for these guys to say no, huh? All right, well in that case, let's go ahead and farm out some reputations. The insurgents are banned. We will put them all in Burb prison. They must say that they are sorry to the chicken and give us bread scraps. Also hand in all of your weapons. Perfect. All right, now we can just go ahead and, and uh, say, oh, you know what? There are no international forces, but I appreciate the effort. Agree to the peace deal, and boom, we win. Easy enough. That was actually pretty quick. Uh, the Burb Chicken had no problem stabilizing this, and now you all know to take me super duper cereal. <laughs> That is amazing. Very, very quick, actually, for a scenario. Uh, 2,819 points. Could be better. But um, this is a massive thumbs up from me, just because this is hilarious. It's not as difficult as I thought it would be, but we also got very lucky with the insurgents spawning the way that they did. But the theme, man, you stuck to it. And it worked. And I laughed. Maybe I have a silly sense of humor, but that doesn't matter. You still get a thumbs up. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If so, I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, hit the notify bell, and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>